I can't stress enough how important it is to really read closely and do an in-depth reading when you're looking at these math problems. This is an excellent example. The city water department reported that the average amount of water used per household each month in the last year was 1,000 cubic feet. Employees from the department randomly sampled 50 homes in the community and reviewed the water bills for a recent month. Which of the following would most likely be true of water consumption of the 50 households? Now, I really want to emphasize randomly sampled, average, and the fact that they want it it to be most likely to be true. So on the first one, each household will have used exactly 1,000 cubic feet. No, because we're talking about an average. Each household will have used at least, used at least 1,000 cubic feet. That's the same as saying that it's, there's nothing below 1,000. And let's just look at something, when we're talking averages, if I have something that is 10 and another thing that is 30, well, 10 plus 30 equals 40, and then I take 40 and I divide it by 2, and that equals 20. So my average would be 20. Notice how there's some numbers that are lower and some numbers that are higher. So that's why B would and A would be incorrect. C, each household will have used at most 1,000 cubic feet. That's saying it's 1,000 or less. No numbers would be higher. So that can't be it. And then D, 25 of the households will have used more than 1,000 cubic feet, and 25 of the households will have used less. So half have more and half have less. And so that would make sense when you consider averages. Let's look at E and why that's not correct. 25 of the households will have used exactly 1,000 cubic feet, and 25 of the households will have used either more or less than 1,000 cubic feet. And the problem here is that word exactly. The answer is D.